Hey guys, welcome to the seventh video of my series on regex in Python and in this video I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic which is related to quantifiers which is greedy and non-greedy quantifiers. So let us take a look at an example before we talk about this particular behavior. So first of all let me import the regex module and take a look at this particular text in which I have got some kind of HTML return. Um, it is HTML head then the title then some text, then end of title and so on. So this is a very simple text and let's say I want to find um, the HTML part. Okay, so I want to find the HTML part. So what do I do for that? For finding the only HTML part or let's say I want to find all the um, all the parts of this text which are enclosed inside this um, greater than and the less than symbol, less than and the greater than symbol. So I want to find all of them. I want to find HTML, I want to find head like this, I want to find title and finally I want to find end of title. So what if I want to get all of them? So in order to get all of them, I write a very simple pattern as you must have learned in the last video about the quantifiers. I just write less than less than symbol, then I put dot asterisk which means that any character repeated any number of times and then I put the um, greater than symbol. So basically I'm enclosing this much part like this, right? So let me run it and check what I get. Look at that. I get the complete text as the match. I am not getting HTML head title and end of title as four different matches. I am getting a single complete match. Now what, why is it happening? It is happening because of the greedy behavior of the quantifiers. The greedy behavior of quantifiers says that it will not stop if a match is found at a certain stage. It will keep on finding until a match cannot be found further in the given input. So for example, uh, in our case, we started from here, then we looked at H, T, M, L. We saw a greater than symbol as well, but we will not stop here. We will keep moving until we have to stop because we are not, we cannot move further. So we just reach at the last point here and here we see that um, there is no more character to um, look at and that's why this is where you have to stop and this is your complete match. So this is the greedy behavior to find the longest match. So um, a greedy behavior, a greedy quantifier tries to match as much as possible to have the biggest match result. So this is the behavior but what if? In this particular case, I want non-greedy behavior. That is, I want HTML as a separate match, head as a separate match, title as a separate match, end of title as a separate match. So what do I have to do for that? So in order to do that, you have to um, put a question mark after your quantifier. So for example, when you put asterisk, after asterisk, you have to put a question mark. So by doing that, you are specifying that you want to have non-greedy behavior. So let me write a pattern which uses the non-greedy behavior here. So I dot compile in which I am I have to find anything between these symbols dot asterisk. So this was the last pattern. Now I put a question mark after the asterisk. So what does this mean? It means that um, you have to use the non greedy or the reluctant behavior. What does reluctant behavior do? It says that as soon as you find the match, you just stop there. Okay, so you just stop there and let us see what happens here. Pattern dot find all in the pattern dot find all I put txt so look at that what do we get we get html as a separate match head as a separate match title and of title as separate matches so in this way we are able to utilize the non greedy behavior and we are getting the um, smallest matches in our text so this is how you use the non greedy behavior by just putting a question mark after your um, by just putting a question mark after your quantifier so this is how it works so I hope the concept of uh, greedy and non-greedy behavior of the quantifiers is clear. If you still have any doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.